St. Cecilia's in Nashville, Tennessee looks and sounds much as it has since its founding 150 years ago. Cloister bells toll the hour, and habited sisters gather for daily devotions. But there is also something new. The laughter and eager voices of young women studying to become Dominican sisters. St. Cecilia's hasn't seen this many new postulants in decades. The current batch of first-year students represents 10% of the entire order, says the convent's spokeswoman, Sister Catherine Marie. There are 270 of us, and our um, growth of late has been rather extensive. This year we had 27 young women enter. Last year it was 23. Great blessings to us. It lifts us up, and like, because we're focusing on the words more. Um, so Sister Catherine says she suspects these young women are digging deeper into their faith in reaction to what's happening in the rest of society. The Pew Research Center found in a national survey last year participation in organized religion is falling among Americans under age 30. Sister Catherine notes the Dominican order was founded during an equally turbulent social period and stresses sacrificial service to others. There was um, a whole lot going on in the world that um, was very un irreligious and yet from this emerged an idealism and, an, and a wholehearted desire to give of self. That desire drew first year postulant and sister Kelly Edmonds into the order. She was struck by the impression Dominican sisters made on her fellow students as they served on the campus of the University of Sydney. Just to watch them walking down the main boulevard of campus wearing their habits it was just such a powerful witness and I had friends in engineering who were like, they knew I was Catholic, so they would say to me, who are these nuns on campus? Uh, and so it was a really uh, great witness to me of the power of religious life. Second year novice sister Victoria Marie also made the leap from the campus to the convent. She completed a degree in civil engineering, but discovered along the way that she found people more interesting than roads or bridges. So it was a big shift in my life to, to go from utility to relationship, from what am I going to do to who am I going to be for the Lord. A postulant's day isn't all work and prayer. Sister Kelly says she's surprised by how much time she's gotten to simply enjoy life. There have been a lot of fun moments just in being able to just to be outside and to enjoy the beauty of the beauty of the world and creation. And so we play a lot of sport, we go for walks, we just enjoy each other's company outdoors. Still, postulants do spend a lot of time in devotions, in the classroom and doing chores. And Sister Victoria admits it can be a little overwhelming. For a couple of weeks after I entered, I thought, I just want to lay on the couch for the day, and I don't think they do that here, you know? Sister Kelly doesn't think her spiritual awakening is unique. She believes the entire Roman Catholic Church is in a period of renewal. It's a really great uh, a springtime for the church, I suppose, and there's a lot, of, a lot of hope and a lot of life. There won't be any shortage of opportunities for these women to serve. The Dominican Sisters of St. Cecilia's are active across the U.S. and in Australia, where they teach more than 13,000 students in 34 schools. Reporting for VOA, I'm Mike Osborne in Nashville, Tennessee.